Excited. Oops, good thing I closed that. So cute. Where's the... Where are you going? You can't come up to me and tell me that that that, yeah. that little adorable face right there, that little boy isn't cute. You're cutie pie. <laughs> you can't tell me that that isn't cute. Hey. Yeah, you gotta like. You can't give them your fingertips. You have to give them the back of your hand. Because your fingertips are quite sensitive. That's pretty sure that's the reason. Why are you going behind your wheel? There we go. He's on his wheel now. Say hi. You can't tell me that that isn't cute.
it's in the you can see him I don't think you can see him you can't see you because they're basically blind blind as a bat Look at him, he's so cute. Kobe's a team player, stepping up. Hi. Oh, you found the things from earlier, yeah? I don't like you. Why didn't you eat them? Hamster. Can see his sweat gland right there. That little black spot on his back. It's his sweat gland. It's nothing dangerous. <laughs> it's just how they mark their scent. No, not their sweat gland. Their scent gland. Yeah. It's how they mark their scent onto things. So if you ever see your hamster run it, rubbing his back against like the side of the cage. Then he's just like it, that. It's just like marking his scent. <laughs> See if you have this this type of cage. Look, like this is all right because it's good for hamsters. But this cage is not good for hamsters at all. As you can see it, it's got, it's like absolutely tiny, and it's got like a tiny wheel, wait. Let me get out of the wheel, and I'll show you. Oh, I forget. I have to dismantle the cage. Get out of the wheel. So, like you see this wheel right here, this wheel's too small for them. This is, um, they're about the size of this sock, just like smaller, like, like that size. And you can see it's like bent a bit when you see it's on the wheel. So that's not good for their backs. Yeah, it can cause uh, spinal damage. And this cage is all, all over real bad. And um, absolutely do not get your hamsters like hamster ball. Because like the ventilation in there in the hamster balls are really bad. So it'll be really bad for your hamsters. And, like they might die in them because they might suffocate. Like you see this just because it's big. 
like doesn't mean it's good for your hamsters and yeah they need a, like way more space than this and it can cause a lot of stress on them as well so if you ever get a hamster just remember that never get them a hamster ball and always get them something like that cage up there that I showed you earlier in the video. Just to make sure your hamster's safety. Ooh, safe hamster. Because you don't want a dead hamster, do you? You don't want a depressed hamster, do you? And if you um, see your hamster like pacing back, pacing back and forwards on the cage, on the cage that it's in, it means it's bored, and stressed, or like if it, if it's like like trying to like climb, and it's bored as well, and you need to get it more stuff to do, like a wheel. Like if your hamster doesn't have a wheel, that's a big red flag. Yeah, so you can see. I've just put the hamster cage, uh, hamster ball together. I'm gonna show you it now. Yeah, so you can see that the the hamster ball is really bad for them. Uh, yeah, like it rolls around. The hamster might not like it at all and put a lot of stress on the hamster. So you better not don't get hamsters hamster balls. Yeah, on, on the second channel, when we set it up, we're going to be destroying this cage on the hamster ball. And yeah. I'll tell you guys when the second channel has been made. But, um, yeah. Uh, never get your hamster wired, cage, wired cages like this one. Because like what the wire on a cage is taking climb it and then they can jump from like up here and they can hide us their tails. Because they're practically blind. Try going up your stairs while squinting your eyes really tight and putting your hand above your eyes. Like not like not like on your eyes so you can't see like that. Just like just above your eyes so your hands like so you can like see like 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 that. <laughs> like try going upstairs like that. Like squint your eyes really tight and uh, put your hand above your eyes and then try going up the stairs only small stairs no but don't want you guys falling down the stairs because of me mm, yeah uh Yeah. One thing I want to say as well is um like never get your ham don't get your hamster like these these types of um what's it called um, tunnels because if you put your hamster in a long tunnel then your hamster could like get stuck in it because like Syrian hamsters are quite big and like fat. And these tunnels have low, very low ventilation, so your hamster can get stuck in them because of the size, and it can suffocate in there, or it could just like get stuck in there and dead or die of starvation or something. And that probably won't happen. But yeah, like these types of um, tunnels will not be good for Syrian hamsters. Where this this thing it's got low ventilation it's long and narrow yeah, so never this type of cage with all this stuff in including this wheel here not good for hamsters but the cage up there that's good for hamsters because it's got it's big 
it's got a big wheel and yeah and like it's got and uh like it's got stuff for your hamster for the hamsters to do that it's got tun it's got like chewable tunnels like they can that they can get through and yeah your hamster needs like six inches of bedding now we don't have six inches of bedding in that i don't think but he's happy in there and that's all that matters you gotta keep your hamster happy and healthy so if you if you ever see your hamster like pacing back and forward on the cage like that's not a good thing for your hamsters if if that happens open the cage up and see if they want to come out for a bit mm, yeah Okay, bye.